Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival. You might be wondering where we are. Well, we're inside of the Cambridge Police Station because I had a bit of an issue with the previous episode. So I recorded about an hour and a half where we did the entire quest with Dance to go to um, Arcjet and recover the uh, the radio transmitter. And we did just that. We did that all. We encountered the sins. Uh, and we got the fancy new weapon from Dance, but afterwards it appeared that my game audio was, uh, well, corrupted. So I had two recordings now where the game audio was corrupted. I did a few tests, hopefully I fixed it, so let's hope this version actually has game audio, but it should. So uh, now we're back in the police station and we got ourselves a new weapon. But before we head further, I'm gonna just go into the power armor and uh, fetch my weapons back out of that uh, blue box over there because I had to drop them off to get a nice night of sleep. So last time we were also wondering... I'm pretty certain I gave you a mission. I know, Halema, I'm, I'm talking to a few people. Um, there is a bed here. I totally missed that the last time, but there is actually just a bed here so I can sleep uh, off everything there. And then we got the sniper rifle. That's something you missed as well. We got the sniper rifle, the marksman heavy sniper rifle from the metro, the subway station. So if you want to know what happens in both Arcjet and the subway station, um, I think I might just insert a few highlights here. But if you want to see the entire missions, you can check that out in my goodness playthrough because I did the exact same missions. So let's get back and that back. So. First things first, I'm going to show you the new weapon I got from Dance for finishing off the Arcjet mission. Because the Righteous Authority, so if you can inspect that, is the reason why we did this quest um, at all. Because um, this is an amazing weapon, so critical shots do double damage and the critical meter fills 15% faster. So that means that every critical shot we do with this weapon is double the damage on top of all the other bonuses we already have because we i think we also already have 50 percent on critical shots from our perks and then the critical meter also fills 15 percent faster now this is a rifle at the moment it's a laser rifle you can also see we got a buttload of fusion cells that's because i picked up every laser weapon that the uh, the synths were dropping and i gathered all the ammo from those guns now this thing is a rifle which means that we can only do two or three shots in vats with it but we might be able to do something about that oh yeah another thing that happened there and it's probably in the highlights already but uh i got a bit of a glitch with dance at the moment although i'm not really sure whether it's a glitch so normally he's wearing something like halen so uh, a hat that covers her entire head but dance for some reason his uh his cap is missing and for that, I can see his fancy hair, which I never saw before. But, I mean, look at that! He has lovely hair! He has an amazing hairdo! But, uh, yeah. Next up, we need to find a weapons workbench. So, outside. We need to find a weapons workbench. I know, I think there's one in the corner there. But there's also something else I want to do. Uh, we might be able to combine the two, although I'm quickly going to check that garage over there. So we got from Dance last time, we got a quest that uh, forces us, well forces us, uh, he wants to find the previous recon team. They were missing and they're probably presumed dead, but they went missing in the Commonwealth and never, were never heard from again. But he does know their rough locations and radio frequency and that will allow us to find them. I did this in the Gunless Bay too as well. We're not going to do that entirely here because it's a very long way roughly in that direction. And uh, I'm just not going to do it on survival since we can't really fast travel back after that. Just going to uh, move back to Oberland Station if you remember we were doing that as well. One of the other settlements. And if you can pick up that quest as well, that might be really handy. Because extra settlements means extra places to stay. So we're going into caution immediately, for some reason. So I'm guessing it's over there on the left. And we find the Fraternal Posts 115. But we wanted to go to Oberland Station first, so that means we need to wrap around this building and to the water. Uh, Dogmeat apparently found a ghoul. Just gonna kill it. Oh, that was a miss on 80%. And there we go. So four shots with the Righteous Authority. What's that? Oh, that's a roamer. So I can actually show you that. So if I now... Oh god, I don't have any action points left. 
There we go. Just gonna take it out normally then. Because uh, I'll show you guys the uh, the criticals in a second. I have plenty of ammo. I might actually just use up a few. Because uh, otherwise that might... Yeah, I'm gonna have, have to carry around too much ammo. And that's also no good. There's actually a little cabin here by the water. There's radioactive waste over there. And the rats are already rising. So I'm not gonna even bother. I was gonna check if there was gonna be any loot in there. But... Clearly should stay away from that. So there's a bridge here towards the Beantown Brewery, I think it's called. And we can use that to cross and then onto Oberland Station in the forest over there. And we find a settler in need. Might as well have a little chat with him. Because he might actually need just some water. Hello? Hey. Please. I'm so thirsty. Could you spare any water? Of course, sir. Here you go. Of course. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And that's that. So, hello. Glad, glad I could help, sir. Yeah, by the way, another thing we actually did in the previous episode that I might have not put in the highlights is that we bought another dog. There was a guy outside of ArcJet Systems that was selling a dog. It was really, it was really hard to get the dog from him, but eventually... <laughs> oh, and we find Beantown Brewery. We get triple the experience for that. Although, you know what, I think it's actually quintuple, because, let me check. And while we're checking, I also leveled up last time when I forgot to use the perk, but uh, I think we're already up to Idiot Savant 2. Yes, so now we can get five times the... Wait, what? Oh, that's the last part of Idiot Savant. So randomly receiving bonus XP from any action may trigger three times experience for all kills for a short period of time. The lower your intelligence, the greater your chance. That's actually cool as well. But... I also went further into Charisma last time, because Charisma has the local leader perk. And the local leader perk will allow us to establish supply lines between our workshop settlements. So that means basically that all our resources will be pooled together. So I think I'm actually going into Charisma again, unless I can take Lone Wanderer 2. No, I can't. So could go with some of the damage upgrades as well, but I'm not. So, Charisma 5, here we go. And then the next time, if we go to Charisma 6, or we find the Bobblehead, we can actually grab Local Leader. I think I can just grab the Bobblehead uh, later on and just use that to go to Local Leader. This level 14 gives us a few nicer perks as well. Uh, I want to build up my, uh, well, my build a bit better as well. What's that? I thought I heard something. Because we're also getting very close to the crash site of the UFO. But I think we're, that only triggers on level 15. And we're only level 13 yet. Oh, by the way, I forgot. I'm still hungry. Oh no, I'm actually not hungry anymore because I probably did that before leaving the game. And the game actually makes a save file when you exit the game as well. But it deletes that save file once you come back to the game. So that's really, really cool of survival as well. Another nifty rule. So you cannot always quit the game and stop. So I don't necessarily need to stop an episode at... A bed, which is good for me, of course. Um, but yeah, it does delete that save file afterwards, so you can't abuse it to make extra save files. So I think this is actually the cave where the... I think it is, right? Here on the left is the cave where the alien actually runs to if you find the UFO. But it hasn't crashed yet, so through the bushes and onto Overland Station. As you probably see, I am still parched, but parched is good because that reduces my intelligence and increases the chances for Idiot Savant to trigger. So let's put the weapon away and have a little chat with this woman. There's a group of raiders that won't leave us alone, stealing our food and supplies and threatening us if we can't give them what they want. We know where they're coming from, but we can't stand up to them ourselves. Aha, but don't you worry, Backstreet Apparel is on the way to where we need to go next. So... Now we grab that, we can actually go, uh, so Backstreet Apparel is over there. I'm kind of gonna wanna go back towards the city, which is right over there. Because if we keep going south, you can see there's no city over there. The city is to our east now. And what's handy is that we also don't need to cross another bridge. So we came from the Cambridge Police Station, cross the bridge to Beantown Brewery. And now we're in Oberland Station. We just need to circle back towards the route we would otherwise take towards Backstreet Apparel. And then we're actually pretty close to Diamond City as well, and our main, um, well, settlement that we're going to use. Sadly, no weapon workbench here either, so I won't be able to just uh, adjust my laser rifle just yet. 
But uh, for now in the power armor, we should be enough protected so we don't die from a single explosion. Hopefully. Famous last words, because otherwise we're back in Cambridge Police Station, because we haven't slept here either. I do need to be careful, because the creatures are going to become more powerful here. And I'm not entirely up to snuff just yet. So, being careful is important. So, by taking this route, we bypass most of the city block on the, uh, well, the east side of the river, the north side of the river. And allows us to pretty safely reach the city itself. Um... Because that's, of course, just the suburbs where the Cambridge Police Station was as well. And where we are now, oh no, that's the... Well, it's almost safe. Almost safe. But I have bad memories about that shack. Also need to be careful because, of course, water means possible mire lurks. We haven't seen mire lurks yet, but they're horrifying. I do still have two criticals in the bag, so should be fine. I know I shouldn't check this. But you know what, for the viewers, I'm going to check this. I'm even going to go with the shotgun here. This is, this is it, right? Yeah, this is the, the horrifying shack with the... Ooh, so... Skeleton. Brahmin skull. A wild mud fruit, where was that? Thank you for that. I can hear gunfire outside, but if I... Is it going to trigger this time? No, it doesn't. Okay, so that means we get a random battle uh, next now. Yeah. Because this battle over here can always be... Well, there's two parties every time. But the parties themselves are randomized. There's at least Raiders. And that's basically the only thing I can see right now. But usually the other party is in the house. The house on the right there. So they're firing away. I'm just gonna stay here. I don't have any troubles with you. Oh, I think it's just normal sca scavengers. Okay, I'm not gonna mess with them, I'm just gonna let them shoot each other. So I think the Psycho is gonna win. The Psycho definitely has the better weapons. But I can actually- oh no. Uh, and the scavenger is probably hostile to me, so... Let's just shoot it in the stomach. There we go. Take out the straggler with the, the sniper rifle. I think the sniper rifle right now is my most powerful rifle, just for normal shots. Uh, but we do need to be careful. I'm just going to grab Righteous Authority again. Because there's definitely more enemies. Oh, hello. Um, hello, scavenger. How would you like a critical to the face? There we go. And then the rest, we can start working towards our next critical. There we go. There we go. Ooh, 5308 rounds. Don't mind if I do. And a strengthened treated leather right leg. Might as well grab that as well. But now, we're really, really close to our home base. Our home base is going to be right in the center of the city. Well, not really the center, but pretty much uh, a good place where we can reach everything rather quickly. And it's supposed to be over there on the right. And as you'll see in a second, it has a very ominous name, but right now it's actually occupied by raiders. I want to clear those out, because it's one of the settlements that you just need to clear out and then make your base from. And you don't need to do any sort of quest for it. Okay, I thought... There's already gunfire, but I think that's a gunfire at Diamond City. So, around here somewhere, I think it's... Is it on the other side of the... I don't think so. I think it's between the building and the wall there. There's an opening... There it is, so I'm peckish from lack of food. Might as well fix that first. Yeah, that's definitely it. So apparently by eating two pieces of bubble gum, I'm properly fed now. So, uh, I'm just gonna check. Am I, am I still equipped with grenades? No, it's Molotov cocktail. So let's just grab the fragmentation grenades. And then over there we have a Psycho. And that's a critical strike on the Psycho's head. I think they will probably open up the door now. Or not. Maybe not. Need to be careful about Molotovs, but I think I can just toss grenades over the... Oh, that's not over the wall. That's not over the wall. So, uh, I missed that. Probably need to throw it higher. There we go. And uh, like that. And then bounce one over the wall. That's another hit. 
Just need to keep an eye out for the... I think they're closer, so if I just do this, that should... No. Maybe like this. You turn up, you're dead. I'm just tossing out grenades. I think that building might actually... This is a corner. There we go. There we go. I think I, I have one more grenade left. Well, two more grenades left, but there you go. Okay, so that's at least three kills with ten grenades. Let's open up the door. Must be a horrifying experience, though. Just sitting there in your own settlement, and suddenly you're getting carpet bombed by a guy, in, well, a woman in power armor. Hello. Hello. No, wait. Um, I should probably just shoot her like that, because that's going to give me a critical. And there we go. I think that's that. So that means we've successfully taken over Hangman's Alley. Hangman's Alley, because Hangman's Alley is great. Five millimeter rounds. I'm going to take the crispy, the crispy stuff, the crispy squirrel stuff. And yeah. Oh, there's another corpse over there. I think I've blown this guy to bits. Oh, he has another grenade. Thank you. I need a refill. Oh, and more 308 rounds and shotgun shells. That's always very nice. And then that's the rest of the settlement. So they have built a few things here. And I don't think that I actually kill somebody else here. I think I've seen everybody I killed. So that comes with a weapon workbench and all the amenities you would want. So first things first, let's grab this workshop as our own. There we go. So now we can use the workshop at Hangman's Alley. So let's turn the mattress into a nice bed over here. <laughs> And that gets us a bit more experience as well. And there we go. So I cleared out the area a bit so we can walk around like a normal person. And we have our heavily fortified area over here. So that means, first things first, I'm going to check out the workbench. Although I probably can't use it Yeah, when I'm in power armor. Uh, does this place actually have a power armor station? Doesn't seem like it does, but it does have a steamer trunk with some stuff in it. Don't really need that right now. So I used the steamer trunk to get rid of my uh, double barrel shotgun and a few of my throwables. So we can actually walk around like a normal person now. Um, first things first, we want to adjust the righteous authority. So that means I could have probably taken the perk, the gun nut perk, to get uh, a few more options here. But right now I feel like, ooh, yeah, we're missing a lot of materials here for that. Let me look around for some materials first. So basically I don't have enough materials to do that just yet. But now that we have ourselves a base here, I'm just going to sleep one hour. Uh, so that gives us an auto save. We're still just in the afternoon. So I'm just going to make another water pump here as well. So we have a few of the basic necessities. But of course I don't have the concrete to make that. So I'm going to have to find concrete somewhere as well. Good of course to get rid of the cooking station. But that will be a bit... I don't know why I... I just lost. Oh. Oh, the rat stack steak was still going, probably. Because I'm not. Oh, I am thirsty. I am thirsty now instead of just over. Well, I'm over encumbered and I'm gonna take periodic damage. So let's just grab that. I took rat stack steak a while back in the previous episode, and apparently that takes a very long time to wear off. But the power armor gives me extra carry capacity, and we slapped. So might as well clear out uh, the apparel shop now, the backstreet apparel shop. And there we go, we lose our fusion core again. But we still have one extra, so we should be fine for now. So backstreet apparel is actually right around the corner. And that should allow us to grab a few more materials. So we're on the other side of backstreet apparel, which means I just need to make my way around. Okay, hi. That was terrifying. There we go. That's into caution. Oh god, I think I hit the, the sign instead there. And that's a psycho down, but we're still in danger. Aha! There's a turret on top of the building. Can you actually hit me? I don't think you can actually hit me. There we go. You can't. What are you... Oh, there's a machine gun turret inside of the... Wait a second. Fats might not be able to hit it, but I can. And turrets actually have 
really good weapon materials. So, yeah, the biometric scanner and the power relay coil. Let's give me that. Do need to be careful because I'm pretty sure there's like a rocket launcher trap inside this red tube. And I'm pretty sure there is a rocket launcher in one of these pipes. Is it this one? Oh yeah, definitely this one. Don't forget, we can... Oh, can't we disarm that? I can actually take it and just drop it, of course. I'll I'll do that. I'm probably over encumbered now. I'm actually not. So the missile launcher does 150 damage, but weighs 21 pounds or whatever it's supposed to be. So let's drop that. But at least it's not a trap anymore. It didn't even have... Did it have a missile? Nope, it didn't have a missile. So that's curious. Uh, I'm still carrying a few shotgun shells just in case we come across a combat shotgun because that's the, the baddest shotgun. But now, outside the fence is taken care of, we can go inside of the clothing store. So, oh wow, he, she just shot me. And there's another one. I think I can shoot his head with a critical, maybe even twice. And then the second one also critical because I might otherwise miss. And there's one more thing in the back there. I know I'm still in still in danger. So I'm still parched, but I took the mole red chunks are healing me, I think. Yeah, okay, I see the, the dial moving back. There's definitely something red there. That's probably the raider we wanna kill for the quest for Oberland Station. Which is dog meat, dog meat, stop please, because there's oil on the floor. Oh, there's oil on the floor. So that's the trip mine. That's the one that actually makes you. Yeah, walk into this hellhole, because it's... Yeah, I think that's the shotgun, right? The shotgun is hooked up hooked up to the trip wire. A trilby hat. Is that actually better? I know there's one hat that's actually a lot better than all the other hats, because it gives you two uh, special points instead of one. The bowler hat gives me one endurance, and the trilby hat gives me one charisma. I'll just leave the trilby head here. I don't I don't really care about that just now. We do have a dead guy over here with 10 millimeter ammo. And then we have... Oh, did I blow up... Ooh, 308 ammo. Always nice. Did I blow up the turret? With my grenade as well. That was one hell of a grenade. Sadly, no extra components in there. So, are they in here? I think this is an office. So, if I can just toss that over there... That's at least one of them down. And then Clutch is going to die as well because she's almost dead. And there we go. That gets us to level 14. There's more raiders around, but I don't think they actually mind for now. Because I don't think they come down if we don't go on the staircase. So Clutch, double stamp. Ooh, our first combat rifle. Nope. I'm here for other things. I, I'm not going to take the, the combat rifle. So they were trying to open up the safe, but the safe is locked tight. Desk fan, definitely screws. More 308 rounds, always nice. So that's the lock kicking in again. And that's an armor workbench. But, ah, the terminal is also advanced. Okay, but there is another pipe sniper rifle. Never mind. I don't know why I called it a sniper rifle. There we go. I'm gonna shoot people with my sniper rifle. There we go. That got me an extra critical automatically there. I think the last one is inside. Ooh. Oh, hell no. Hello. Can you grab it? There we go. And then there's one more, but I do have the critical now. There we go. Boom. There he goes. There he goes. I'm actually wondering if spending action points in VATS is also... Ooh, blast radius, that's nuclear material. Uh, if that also spends fusion core more. The fusion core, because I feel like it's going down rather quickly now. While it didn't do that before. We did get the bo bubble head that gives us... Ooh, I need a broken lamp as well. That gets us 10% um, more time on the fusion cores. And I feel like it's still going down a bit too fast now. Oh, and a Grognak the Barbarian. I forgot about that. Critical hits with unarmed and melee attacks permanently do 5% more damage. Completely useless to us because we probably won't be doing too much of that. But we get beer in the process as well. And beer is good. Being drunk makes you dumb. 
and being dumb gives you more experience points. In our case, there is another storage room in the back of the building and that should probably give us a few materials as well. There's a stealth boy, that's always nice. Makes me invisible for uh, a few minutes. And the 10 millimeter rounds burp out. Okay, okay, I'll take what I can get. Oh god! That was a trap. I completely missed one of the traps downstairs, apparently. And I reacted really, really slowly as well. So that should only kill, like, the slowest of people. Dogmeat, are you... Oh, yeah, okay, you, you survived on your own. That's great. Let's see if that was enough to actually upgrade our weapons. And now we're actually just tired from lack of sleep, which is going to come in handy. Of, well, in handy. We're going to fix that right away. But first, let's see. If we go to the weapons workbench, we can transfer all our junk. That doesn't give us... Well, get us under the... Uh, the weight limit there because I picked up a few other things. Aha! Now we can actually get ourselves the uh, first things first. So let's grab the comfort grip, improved recoil and hip fire accuracy. So that boosts the damage up to 40 because it turns into a uh, pistol and we have 40% extra damage on pistols and not on rifles. So comfort grip there we go, and we get the standard grip in return, probably. We also have a level up, so I might as well check out the uh, perks over here. And I think I should just gap, uh, get gun nut. Because uh, 14, I think I said before that 14 was a good level, but I don't think it actually is. We get four leaf clover again, but without another uh, point to the critical banker, that's not going to help us too much. Next up is Gunslinger 3, which is going to be handy. But for now, I think we should go with Gun Nut 1. But if you want to grab the Photon Exciter, uh, the only difference is actually one piece of crystal, so might as well make it ourselves. I, I kept the Scoped Excited Institute pistol for this purpose, but apparently the cost is pretty much the same. So, so right now we have ourselves a Righteous Authority pistol, which actually does more damage than the rifle. And we get more VAT shots. I'm going to actually move uh, out without the power armor now after a nice night of sleep. So the thing I'm really missing at the moment is actually a water pump. I need um, concrete for the water pump, but I don't think there's any concrete around here. So if I go into the building menu, um, I think the area is actually just behind that. Oh, wait, there is. Oh, my God. It's uh, there we go. It's a. Uh, it's literally biting me in the nose, so let's just build that over here. There we go, and we have all the amenities we would ever need. So let's just grab some food and grab ourselves a bit of water. You feel better, but still parched, and then we're going to be properly hydrated. There we go. So with that save file over there, we can actually move out now, and let's head towards Diamond City next. I need to lockpick my own Sweet. door for some reason, so there we go. Let's get Dogmedia coming out. Dog meat. Okay, dog meat is not coming out, so I'm gonna leave my settlement completely unprotected. Now, because of the book we found, one of the magazines we found, we have Diamond City permanently marked on the map, so we know where Diamond City is, and we can head right there. What we can also do is head quickly back to Oberland Station now that we're not using the power armor, since we know that route should be clear, and we're gonna do that right now first to finish up the quest. So there we go, Oberland Station, let's uh, tell them the good news that we killed another batch of raiders and just wake them up apparently, because they're sleeping. Yeah? I took care of those raiders for you. Really? That's the best news I've heard in a long time. This is an awkward right conversation. Away, we've talked about it, and we've decided to support the Minutemen. I think it's worth giving it another chance. The only way things will get better is if we stand together. There we go, that's another settlement done. Now to fully complete this quest, sadly, we need to head back to uh, Sanctuary, which we're not going to do because that's all the way past the Corvega station again, so that's pretty much over there across the hill. That's way too far for me, but I do want to take in the sights. We're going to be heading there later, but over there, those red canisters where my dot is, that's sunshine, sunshine tiding, oops. On the bridge we slept, that's the Gunner Bridge, and then we went to Corvega, and then to the 
uh, well, that's been Town Brewery, but behind that is the Cambridge Police Station that we came over here. So you can always check out our, uh, our route wherever we go. So now if we check that out over here, this is now one of our settlements as well. These guys actually already provide food, so once we get those supply lines going, we can actually gather up a nice bit of equipment. Oh, there's a Brahmin, a pack Brahmin running, running away from what exactly? That is weird. Normally those are linked to, well, salesmen. Oh, gold. Hi, scavenger. Um, well... Hello, let's just shoot him in the face. And now we can do six shots with the pistol. There we go. Goodbye. Yeah, that wasn't your best idea, now was it? Just to attack me. The battered fedora. I think I'm going to keep that because I think that's also one of the better hats. Come on, there's a weapon chest. Ooh, four more sniper rifle rounds. Always nice. I shouldn't be jumping around so happily because, of course, now we're in real danger. We're out, of, we're out of the power armor, so we really need to be careful about traps and stuff like that. But if I can gather a few more materials, we should be good to also make a fancy capacitor that gives us more damage on criticals. Does this have a, a mine? They did that in Fallout 3, which was really, really evil. I think, well, Dogmeat is supposed to be here somewhere. I hear him running around, but... Wait a second. That's definitely not Dogmeat. Oh, God. Is that a mutant hound, then? It seems to be. Oh, God. Hello. Um. Hello. Oh, God. Let's do a critical. And then... Keep going. Keep shooting him. Oh wow, he's not dead, is he? Now he is. Okay. Random mutant hound. They give you meat, but that meat is really, really heavy. Uh, toolbox with a few bits and pieces. Always nice. Why was there a single mutant hound here? Usually that means more super mutants, but... Another pipe sniper ref. And the leg of a radic. He has a few nice things, but that would probably don't need to drop down there. Probably gonna die from that fall. There's a bottle cap mine in that bathtub. So don't mind if I take that, because that's pretty much the best explosive what you can... There? Oh, cool. Oh, hi. Uh, it's me, your friend, your friendly neighborhood Louise. And he has an axe. He has a... Ooh. Yeah, he has a blade of tire iron. There we go, a blade of tire iron, no doubt. You've used that in the Gunners playthrough. They're definitely doing stuff here. This seems to be another Raider camp. As I thought it was going to be, but I had something different in mind. Yeah, I'm making splashy noises. That's probably not very stealthy of me. Oh no, this is a trader. Okay. There we go. I bought a bunch of junk from him. So uh, I'll use that to make the capacitor for our laser pistol. So this should be fine. Just gonna run through a bit and then we'll head back to Hangman's Alley and make that... Oh god, there's a scaver. Scavers aren't nice. So let's use those double criticals. And there we go. And oh god, there's another one. Um, oh, there's plenty where that came from. You know what? You, you can have that. Oh, he threw a grenade at me, didn't he? Oh, wow. I'm, oh, shit. That's going to explode as well. I need... Am I dead? Oh, God. Um, let's stem back all of that. Then I'm thirsty, but... Going to start healing. Purified water. Yes. Double that. And maybe even a, a cherry. That, that that was legs. That was legs. Holy crap. Okay, didn't expect that. Shouldn't have shouldn't have done any of that. I did blow up blow up the car. And that gets me another grenade back. 
Uh, that's probably gonna leave some rads. But where the hell did they even come from? Ah, over here. So that radio that was still alive probably comes... Is here. Is he? Or is he? So that's probably home. So if I go over here, yeah, this is the hallway we were before. No, wait. This is Backstreet Apparel. This is... This is, isn't it? Yeah, this is Backstreet Apparel. Okay, so let's just head back to Hangman's Alley. So that was a bit my problem. I went too far there. Uh, but now we can actually start making some weapon modifications. I'm still missing a screw. Are you flipping kidding me? I'm missing a screw, but I probably can make, I could make a sight. I'm going to wait with that. I'm going to check out the, the sniper rifle already has the heavy weapon frame. But with gun nut, I could technically improve that. I actually have pretty good modifications on my weapons at the moment. Uh, for the better ones, I even need gun nut too. Or for the laser rifle, of course, I need science. I could get the short scope, but I'm pretty excited that that doesn't really increase critical damage now, does it? No, so there's a short scope over there. I think I'm just going to wait until I find something better. So sadly, we get nothing for that. That was... yeah, that's a bit sad. Do I need more food or water? It doesn't seem at the moment. I'm just going to grab another hour of sleep. And that will just get into Diamond City. So Diamond City is a repurposed baseball stadium, which is right over there, but I do need to be careful because... Wait, why isn't this... This is supposed to be a big battle, but it appears that I've been, well, stumbling around for too long because everything's already dead. The mutant hounds are dead, and I'm assuming the, uh, the super mutants are going to be dead as well then. Yep. Dead super mutants, all right. We haven't seen super mutants ourselves before this, but uh, there they are. Da Danger? Where is he shooting me from? I was in. Cover fire over here. I was in this hallway before. Where? Did oh hi. Oh Nelly. I almost died there. Where the hell did? Okay, they're definitely outside. I'm going to have to be careful, because if they start throwing Molotovs inside, I'm going to be dead. I know I slept like five minutes ago, but... No, it's called stupidity. There we go. Just some manual aiming for good measure. Okay. I feel like this battle has gone really, really awkwardly, because there's even a mutant hound over there, which is past... Diamond City's basic defenses, and I thought I saw... Wait, where is it? I thought I saw... Oh yeah, there we go. A Vault Deck Lunchbox! There's always something in there. And we get the lunchbox from which we can make bottle cap mines, but... There's definitely one of the security guys over here, so they did try to fight. But I don't need the armor just... Aha, there it is. Office desk fan, that's more screws. And then we can start our approach around Diamond City. So Diamond City is this entire complex on the left here. It's defended by guards dressed in, uh, well, baseball or rugby uniforms. I don't know what that's supposed to be. I think it's baseball uniforms. And uh, which, of course, works in the team of Diamond City being a, a city like that. But, 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 before we go in, we're just going to start talking to people. And people means I need to have high charisma. So let's uh, get Louise's best duds out. Look at that, the sequine dress, the battered fedora, and the fashionable glasses. Keeps a, a bit of armor still on our body for some reason. Uh, but, I mean, it's a cool look, right? So let's, uh, let's head in. What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. Boom. I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. Ugh. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> open up. So now we can intervene. 
You. You want into Diamond City, right? Uh, yes. I just got here, but yeah. Shh. Play along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to Crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Well, if you leave somebody away from their home, that's pretty personal. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. Uh, okay. So I really like Piper. And that's one hell of a gate, by the way. Even if for just the stadium, that's a really big gate. I mean, I've never been to a baseball stadium before, but that looks like it's really, really way too big. Because now we're going to have to do some uh, convincing, because uh, that guy over there... Who let you back inside? ...is the mayor. I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Uh, of course we support the news. I always believed in freedom of the press. I don't oh, know where I the frame rate is going. I bring you into this argument, miss. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Of course, Welcome in that dress. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? I'm sure your city's a great place. <laughs> yeah, greatest house of cards in the Commonwealth. Until the wind blows. <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? So you can start by grilling the mayor uh, about our son already, which we're gonna do. But he's not gonna, well, release some information. I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? An infant boy. Kidnapped. Did you say kidnapped? Well, McDonough, Diamond City Security can investigate this. How about all the other kidnapping reports you've been uh, Don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. But not him. A mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have time for any more questions. I'm a busy man. Enjoy your stay in our fair city. So even with eight this charisma that failed? Diamond City security can't spare one officer to help? I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates any kidnappings? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Hmm, <laughs> a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Okay, Jessica Jones, see you, uh, in a minute, but... There we go, story of the century started, and we can go to Piper's office if you want to. But first I'm gonna have to make amends with somebody, so uh, that's time to City security. But over here we can actually talk to Danny Sullivan. You're Sullivan, right? So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? Yeah, sorry Danny. I didn't mean to lie, officer. I it all just happened so fast. Oh, sure it did. Oh, wow, it, it failed even. so fast you forgot all about basic human decency. Didn't your mother ever teach you to be honest? I have hey, eight charisma at the moment. brought you into town anyway. Be good to note it down in the logs. That was a very bad dice roll. Um, I'm looking for, well, looking for something. Just looking for something. Aren't we all? Now, was there anything particular you were looking for? Well, Danny, since you're being such a bitch, I'm just gonna say a missing person. Well, who would I talk to about finding a missing person? Oh, look, I'm sorry, but we're under orders not to get involved in missing person cases. There's a lot of institute paranoia right now. 
And we can't really risk fanning those flames with official action. What if people panic? So the Institute, uh, since we haven't been through the last episode, the Institute is some sort of mysterious uh, organization that is responsible for the Sins, which are basically human-looking robots. And their latest models are rumored to be extremely hard to di differentiate from normal humans, so they look exactly alike. And that's why everybody is starting to freak out about the Institute itself. It's not even actually clear whether the Institute even exists, but we can try and help help me please i just need a little information danny we can keep this off the record okay oh there we go that at worked out you somewhere unofficially when you get inside the city go to the back around the market to an alleyway there's a couple of bright neon signs valentine's detective agency no one likes going there though so buyer beware and all that so this basically bypasses the fact that you need to talk to Piper again, because otherwise Piper would lead you uh, to Valentine's Detective Agency after you talk to, to her about the interview. But uh, now that we know that from Danny, Thanks thank you. I should have picked the sarcastic option, shouldn't I? Didn't I? But with that, hello, you look, wow, that was smooth. Is it going to turn out on again? Look at that. Hmm. That is a man. Okay, let's go. Let's go inside the city. And there we go. Diamond City itself. Walking in here is always a sight to see. It even looks a lot prettier at night. Uh, well, that's my opinion at least. And uh, yeah, this is where we're going to spend the next episode. Well, most of the next episode. We have Piper down there. And that's her, uh, well, her, her paper factory over there. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Nah, uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. You start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? Yeah, and then she walks off without saying another word. I guess to her baby sister, which is ridiculous, but... With that done, we're going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Fallout 4 Survival. And next time we're going to start exploring Diamond City itself. So see you guys. Until next time. Goodbye.